welcome to the public hearing on Bill 18, an act to amend the Health and Social Services Professional Act. Before we proceed, I'll ask Mr. Blake to open up the meeting with a prayer. Thank you. Thank you, Lord, for this day. May many more come. We thank you. Thank you for all the blessings you have bestowed upon us. We ask that you watch over our families wherever they may be, and also our constituents. I ask all this in your holy and precious name, Lord. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Mr. Blake. Um, to re uh, review the adoption of the agenda, uh, we have one item, correct, Mr. Shepherdy? Mm -hmm. um, and any questions? Motion, or do we agree with this agenda? Great, okay, thank you. Is there any conflict of interest? None? Uh, at this point in time, I'll uh, get my colleagues to introduce themselves, uh, starting with Mr. Blake. Good afternoon, Frederick Blake, MLA for Mackenzie Delta, welcome. Michael, it's up to you now. Yeah. Good afternoon. Uh, my name is Michael Madley, MLA for Detroit. Julie Green, Bossy Boots, and YK Center. <laughs> Kevin O'Reilly, Frame Lake. Uh, thank you. Uh, on my left is uh, Glenn Rutland, our law clerk. Uh, Megan Welsh is our research analyst. And on my left, or my right side, is Doug Chowdhury, our our clerk and my name is Shane Thompson, chair of social development committee. I had to check it on the piece of paper and <laughs> uh, I'm from the Nahandi writing. So at this point in time, Minister Abernathy, uh, you have want to introduce your staff and start with your opening comments. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chair. And I'm pleased to be here today to discuss Bill 18, an act to amend the Health and Social Services Professions Act. I do have a number of people with me today. Uh, on my right, Debbie Delancey, who is the Deputy Minister of Health and Social Services. On my left, uh, Mr. Thomas Drian, who is Legislative Counsel. Uh, I also have uh, with us our new Director of Policy, Legislation and Communications, uh, Der Gary Toft, who uh, has been in Yellowknife six days and on, at work for three. So uh, welcome to Gary, to, uh, to, the, to the Ledge and to your committee. Uh, we also have Ms. Christine Raves, who is a Senior Policy Officer, who did a significant amount of work on this particular piece of legislation. Uh, we have Ms. Samantha Van Jenny, who is the Register of Professional Licensing. Uh, this is her first time to uh, committee as well, and she is the individual who takes care of licensing in the Northwest Territories. Uh, as always, we have Susan Laramie, who is my Ministerial Special Advisor, and also uh, Colette Perry, who I understand this is her first time to this committee meetings as well, who is our Manager of Policy in Health and Social Services. Uh, Mr. Chair, the current Health and Social Services Professions Act is an, umbre an umbrella statute that will regulate a number of different health and social services professions that are located here in the Northwest Territories. Uh, before an act can come into force, amendments are required to address some of the oversights that were missed during the original drafting of the legislation that came into effect during the last assembly. Uh, these amendments were not identified until the department actually began uh, using the legislation um, on some of the first profession-specific regulations here in the Northwest Territories. Uh, the amendments addressing the oversights include requiring professionals to maintain continuing competency records, uh, authorizing the registrar to inspect, examine, and audit records to ensure a professional is fulfilling their uh, continuing competency requirement, uh, authorizing the minister to approve items such as exams, programs, and guidelines for each profession. Uh, since statutes cannot be repealed or revised by regulation, Bill 18 also uh, proposes consequential amendments on behalf of the first two profession-specific regulations that we have worked on, which include emergency <coughs> medical services providers as well as psychologists. Uh, Mr. Chair, since the bill was required to address oversights and consequential amendments, the Department took advantage of this opportunity to expand and clarify uh, existing registers uh, in the Act and the information that should be disclosed to, disclosed to the public in relation to a complaints and discipline process. Uh, these proposed amendments include clarifying the information that must be included in a registrar's public registrar. Uh, including when the registrar places conditions on uh, suspends or cancels a license. Uh, expanding the information a complaint officer must record 
in their register to include the entire complaints and discipline process uh, and identify the complaints and discipline information the complaints officer must direct uh, the registrar to record in the public register. There are two different registers. Finally, Mr. Chair, amendments are proposed to restrict the use, collection, disclosure, and communication of personal health information uh, throughout the Act to ensure sensitive information is protected. Uh, Mr. Chair, uh, those are my opening comments, and I'm pleased to answer any questions that uh, may, members may have with respect to the bill. Thank you. <clears throat> Thank you, Minister Abernathy. Any questions for the Minister in his opening remarks or about the bill? No? Okay. Uh, does the committee agree to proceed uh, clause by clause review of Bill 18, an act to amend the Health and Social Services Professional Act? Agreed. Okay. Committee agreed to conduct a clause by clause review of Bill 18. Let's turn to page one of the bill. There are 75 clauses in the bill. So 75. <coughs> Clause number one? Agreed. Clause number two? Agreed. Ms. Green. Uh, Mr. Chair, um, we, we've had some good advice from our law clerk and from our researcher uh, to propose an amendment to clause number two, and specifically that clause number two of Bill 18 be amended by deleting the proposed definition of personal information. Thank you, Ms. Green. Uh, a motion in order to the motion. Question. Question. Question has been called. All those in favor? Agreed. Those opposed? None. Motion is carried. Uh, just to clarify, there, 16. there are 16 clauses. Sorry. Apologize. Two clauses. Motion is carried. Does the minister occur with the amendment? Thank you, uh, Mr. Chair. Yes, I concur. Okay. Thank you, Minister. Uh, to clause two as amended. Agreed. Okay. Does the committee agree to consider the remaining clauses and groups up to uh, ten? Or sorry, up to three to sixteen. Sorry. Agreed. Okay. Okay. So clause three? Clause three? Agreed. Clause four? Agreed. Clause five? Agreed. Clause six? Agreed. Clause seven? Agreed. Clause eight? Agreed. Clause nine? Agreed. Clause ten? Agreed. Clause eleven? Clause 12? Agreed. Clause 13? Agreed. Clause 14? Agreed. Clause 15? Agreed. Clause 16? Agreed. Does the committee agree that Bill 18, an act to amend the Health and Social Services Professional Act, is now ready for consideration of the committee as a whole as amended? Agreed. Thank you. Miss, Mr. Blake. Thank you, Mr. Chair. I move that Bill 18, an act to amend the Health and Social Services Professional Professions Act, as amended and reprinted, be reported to the Assembly as ready for consideration in Committee of the Whole. Motion in order. Motion is on the floor. To the motion. Motion. Question has been called. All those in favor? Okay. Motion is sorry, opposed. opposed. Okay, no opposed. Motion is carried. Bill 18, an act to amend the Health and Social Services Professional Act, as amended and reprinted, will be reported to the Assembly as ready for consideration of the Committee of the Whole, as amended and reprinted. Any closing comments, Minister Abernathy? Thank you, No, and I look forward to, uh, to moving through third reading in the House. Thank you. Okay, thank you, Minister, and thank you for your officials. Thanks to everybody who came out this afternoon. We are now adjourned. Thank you.